with me now is Chris Wiley and Shelby McGee, who are two good friends of mine now. We've been hanging out the entire time. Uh, Chris Wiley is here on behalf of Neurofeedback and Hyperbaric Medicine. He's a specialist. Welcome to the show, sir. Hey, thanks. Great to be here. My pleasure. Uh, Shelby's hooked up yep. to the machine already, but you've assured me this is not the Matrix. No, this is, this is real life stuff that's going to help Shelby improve her learning in school, mm -hmm. help her reheal from her concussion that she sustained, and ultimately give her more brain power to enhance her entire life. It sounds like a lot of bonuses there. Yeah. We have the system in front of us. What are we looking at right now? So uh, we're going to do a uh, baseline recording of Shelby's brain activity. Okay, and we should preface that Shelby suffered one concussion or two concussions? One, but I fell again right after I got my concussion, so technically two. Which is very dangerous yeah. once you've had a concussion. Yes. Okay. So uh, what we're seeing here, this is a readout of Shelby's brainwave activity. Yep. So for people that have sustained brain injuries or have learning problems, ADHD, you typically see characteristic brain patterns show up. So our brain's kind of like a battery, and it produces more of certain frequencies in different states. So when we're tired or want to go to sleep yeah. and go to bed, our brain will produce a lot of these lower level frequencies. Yeah. Or if you have someone who sustained a concussion, you'll see that their brain will be producing a lot of these lower frequencies because the brain wants to reheal and recover. Mm. What does the red represent? Uh, the red, these are higher gamma waves. See that? She just fired up on the red when I talked to her. Yeah. And uh, you saw when she was focusing in on the screen there? Yeah. That's her brain producing those higher frequencies to focus in. Yeah. So what we do with the neurofeedback is we basically train your brain to be able to shift states mm -hmm. to meet whatever your situation demands. Yeah. So, hey, when you want to go to sleep, you want to relax. You want to be able to drop down to calm and control. But when you want to get ready for a big test or a big speech or a big soccer game. Yeah. You want to be able to ramp up into those higher frequencies. Concussions are on the forefront of sports right now. It seems to be the most popular topic. Uh, my lady, Yes. how has this benefited you on your road to recovery from your concussion? Well, I've had the concussion for eight months and I just started this a few weeks ago and I already see like a difference. I can yeah. focus more. I don't have headaches as often. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. How did you get involved in this? Um, you know, in my neuroscience studies at Western, I uh, just really got intrigued by, by the brain and yeah. finding more natural, more effective ways to optimize cognitive performance. And I saw the research being used both clinically and by top athletes yeah. and was really just captivated by it. Got uh, started working with a local doctor, uh, Dr. Peter Duchesne, who had a kid with autism yeah. and invested in neurofeedback to help his son's condition. So I started working with him, using it for people with ADHD, yeah. sleep issues, anxiety, depression. How, okay, so how does it work? Walk me through the process. Because usually there's music playing for Shelby. W what takes place when she hooks up? So it's almost, envision it as yoga for your brain. Yeah. So the system will be measuring Shelby's brain activity, measuring changes, how volatile, and any issues that may be. And then it's providing the feedback through the music playing into her ears. So how it works is, like a yoga instructor, yeah. the system is measuring her brain activity and pointing out any um, issues or areas that need to be improved upon. So her brain's basically doing the downward dog right now. Her brain is basically controlling the music that she's hearing and seeing itself for the first time. Yeah. The process of recovering from a concussion or dealing with ADHD or whatever it is that you come to, how does it work? So, so for people with Is eight, there like a timeline, eight weeks, three weeks, ongoing? Uh, it's kind of, imagine starting a workout program for the first time. Yeah. Your brain's never had this type of feedback, it's never had this type of training. It's going to take a few sessions to build up yeah. and develop that mental capacity over time. So it's usually twice per week for the first couple of weeks and yeah. then... You've, you've had that neuroplastic change, as it's called. Yeah. I got the ADD, straight up. I, I got to listen to music when I'm working at my desk, or I'm everywhere. How does it benefit someone with ADD? So someone with ADD, they have very volatile brain function. Mm -hmm. So you know how sometimes you can be sitting, reading a book, or be playing sports and be completely locked in yeah. for periods of time? Well, people with ADHD, their brains can't do that. Singing my song, brother. So this trains your brain to focus in for longer periods of time. Yeah, I'm actually scrambling eggs in my head right now thinking about <laughs> breakfast that yeah. I had. So this is more the low temp, nice sautéed with some nice oil and yeah. makes it 
taste a lot better. For people who are watching who need to benefit from this program, how does it work? How do we get involved? Uh, well, you can uh, contact me, check out my website, see some uh, simple videos, show how it works, see the athletes, yeah. students, and adults that are using this to enhance their brain power and well-being. And then uh, feel free to send me an email. And uh, on the website as well, you'll see all the conditions yeah. that neurofeedback's been shown to be effective in treating. Okay. And uh, really search for all you want. Good enough. You make the blues go crazy now, okay? Concentrate on the blues. I don't know if you can do that or not. Uh, go to Chris's website, guys, for more information. More daytime coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere.